<laughs> Welcome to Confetti Eggs Corona Edition. I'm going to share with you some of our best tips for making some awesome confetti eggs so you can have an incredible confetti egg battle in your house. Um, now, I know it's Easter Sunday, so this is, you might have to do this as a next week activity, but because the first step is um, cracking enough eggs. Actually, you could do this today. This one thing you could do is you could, the key is to crack just the very tip top of the egg off. I'll show you. Let's see if I have a really good example here. Um, and that's, that takes some skill just to oh, take the very top of the egg off and pour it into the pan for cooking so you can get a nice confetti egg at the end. Oh, that's a good one. Um, so that's, a, that's the first art form. If you wanted to try to do it for today, you could just um, save all the eggs in... Um, individual containers and freeze them uh, for later, or you could uh, put them in individual containers and use them for an omelet or use them later this week for baking or whatever. If you don't need, if you want, let's say you want to do a dozen today, but you wouldn't want to eat a dozen today, you could uh, save them in their fridge out of their shells for, for baking later. Uh, anyway, so once you have your uh, empty eggs, you then want to get some containers. Uh, you know, we didn't want, this is the non-kit version. So, um, because of coronavirus, we stopped throwing things out and we've been conserving everything because it might come in handy. And these little Yo Play containers came in perfectly handy because they fit an egg uh, just perfectly, uh, which I was really excited about. But you could use whatever you have around the house, tuna cans. Well, okay, tuna cans, too small. Other yogurt containers. You could use uh, little cups, uh, little bowls, you know, whatever you have. Um, you're supposed to put boiling water in. I, I cooled my boiling down, water down a little bit because um, I was worried about melting the plastic, but um, you don't have to do that. And then I used, this is my other innovation, I didn't have the kit, I didn't have the little copper thing. And also I didn't, I don't like mixed, you know, using the little copper dipper between all the jars as well. So I used, um, what do you call this thing? Corn, corn cob holders, corn holders. So luckily I had six corn holders. And so we have one per, per container. And it works really well because since they're confetti eggs, there's a nice hole for grabbing it with. Um, so you don't actually need the little tongs or anything because they're a little easier to pick up because they're not just round. Um, that, but the key trick that we wanted to share with you, sorry, that's my dog going after our chicken in the background. Yeah, he likes to jump. Scout, stop jumping after the chicken. Um, and, oh, the key thing I learned is that at the bottom of um, these eggs, there is often like a little membrane and that membrane um, makes an air bubble and it causes it to float in the jar. So what you do is you take um, your corn cob holder and you just pierce that membrane to, to get the bubble out. And then you can drop it into the container to start dyeing it. So let me get my, pur and I, my purple corn cob. And then you have one corn cob tender per jar so that you don't mix the colors. Um, and I, I keep forgetting to pull it out, but that's how you can do it. And you stir them around and you let them sit there for a little while. And then uh, you get them to dry in their little containers. Um, and then when they're dry, you can cut confetti. We just, you know, take any recycled paper, or colorful news, you know, like political mailers are great confetti because they're nice and colorful. Uh, although they might be a little too sturdy. Maybe these like uh, supermarket mailers are better consistency, the sort of newspaper-y stuff. Um, anyway, you cut, you just, you know, cut strips and then you cut the strips sideways to make little bits of confetti. You put a little bit of confetti in, inside of each egg. And then you get a little bit of tissue paper. Um, I cut, usually we cut a little circle, a little square of tissue paper, just enough to cover that opening. We put a little Elmer's glue, a little ring of Elmer's glue around the opening and gently uh, adhese the tissue paper around the top of the opening. And then you have uh, what we call a confetti bomb, a little filled with confetti and then with a little tissue paper over the top and you can uh, smash it on somebody's head for fun. So um, that's our how to make confetti instructional eggs con uh, instruction c c coronavirus edition. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a fabulous Easter.